BMS 2, Automobilista 2 just had its big V1.5.3 update, which includes a ton of bug fixes and quite a few features and a little bit of content. So today I'm going to try those out. So let's get into the game and see what they've actually added. Okay, so if we first look at the cars, if we go here, they've added two new classes, Formula High Tech Gen 1 and Gen 2. So Gen 1 includes five models, four of them which are generic, as in Razor made, and one is, may, is a McLaren. So first one you have here is a Ferrari-inspired one with a double floor, I think it was, was called. Then you have the Williams FW14B, if I remember correctly, yes. Then you have the Benetton. And then the last one, I don't remember what it's what it's based on. No, yeah, the last one is the same. It is the Williams FW14B, but passive, as in it doesn't have active suspension. And then you have the McLaren MP4-7A. All of these cars are passive, except this one, which uses active suspension. Then when we get into here, into the Gen 2, you have the Ferrari, the Williams, and the Benetton again, and the McLaren. But all of these have active suspension, and there you can see they also have ABS and traction control. And they also have launch control, which is quite interesting. So if we just at first jump into the Formula High Tech Gen 1, yeah, this one, then let's show off the circuit. So... In Barcelona, they have added the national circuit as part of the pack, and they have also added this one, the Monza, no, the Catalonia Historic 91. Then, if we scroll down a bit to Montreal, they have added this historic 1991, which you can clearly see here, this section, the back straight here is flat, this. It's quite twisty and I will be showing you that. And then we get into, wait, what's its name? Interlagos. Then you have Historic 93 and Historic 91. They look nearly identical to the modern layout, but there are some few, a few things which are different. So let's get first into Montreal 91 and let's see in the... Formula High Tech Gen 1 Model 2, or no, let's do it in this car, the McLaren MP4-7A. Let's drive this and let me see, show you what interesting things have been added. Okay, so now we are driving around the, around the Montreal 91 circuit in Senna's 1992 car. And I'm just going to talk about the circuit here, since that's the new content. And I can just tell you that the car feels quite alright. It has grip and it has traction control, which is quite fun. And then the circuit, the curbs are quite bumpy. And then the the track also it doesn't have a lot of grip it feels but it's definitely different to now I would say but soon we get to the part where it's the there is the biggest difference So here you have the normal straight, but now it just turns in, and then you have this quick chicane where you don't want to crash, as you saw there. And then you have the section coming up, which is sort of the same. So, as you saw there, crashes can happen. But let me just switch car and go to a different track to show you some other stuff. 
Now this car has some interesting stuff which I want to show you in the tuning section. So here you can see the anti-roll bars that you can't adjust. And then if we go to advanced, here you can see auto gears. So you have off, up only, down only and full. I personally recommend up only since when going having down only or automatic or fully auto is that the issue is that when braking and turning you can they, it just switches the gears you can easily get oversteer so that's what i recommend and then in the suspension here it has reaction speed and dampening i like to just keep them on the stiffest because that's i think works but then crimson who works for razor has said that it might be good if you adjust it depending on the track but now let's get let me just turn off my turn on my yeah here and let's start go around a track i haven't tried before oh and this car also has launch control we can be which we can actually try so you see here i'm here on in neutral then let me put escape so launch control is on then you're here this and go off you go and and then it does auto shifting until you do something else if you don't have auto shifting on but that's a nice addition and now you can use the drs which stalls the rear wing and you have to turn it off manually which stalls the, fuse, the diffuser or something i don't fully remember what it was exactly but this car feels amazing because it has you just have a lot of grip when turning It has basically no body roll. So you can and you can really feel that. Because it just goes where you want it to go. And then with the traction control and oversteer. No, traction control and ABS. It's very nice. And I haven't driven this configuration before. So that's a bit hard. This car might be the most technologically advanced ever, since it was based on the FW15C, but it's not the fastest ever, since the downforce was very peaky, as in it had a specific window it worked in, but it didn't have the amount of downforce which we now have. So what the would like someone to, someone to do is to take the this the suspension from this car and the engine from the most powerful f1 car ever or in ams2 and put it in the formula ultimate gen 1 so that would be quite fun i think and see, I'm already two te uh, seconds up when learning. Yeah, you can just push it a lot. It's uh, it's very quick, this car. Yeah, this car is really fun to drive. <laughs> Because you have just unlimited amount of grip, it feels like. And in a good way, it's not like you don't get understeer, but you're just pushing. It just feels like you can push even more. That I really like about this car. And I'm already braking a bit too early through there. So I can even get more time. And this track feels nice. Oh, I hate that TC noise though.
And there, I lost it. Just like a guy watched when I was did when I was looking at him. But so this car is good. The track is also quite good. But how does Interlagos feel? I think it's just right that we use use uh, the car which Senna lost one, which Senna's lost car in McLaren to race around Interlagos in ni from 1993 and 91, which are the two years Senna won there. And he is... Oh god. This is... That was quite hard. But... Senna, if I understand it correctly, is... Mr. Renato Simeone's favorite driver so it's only logical that they add it at the two races where he won two years where he won into Lagos since that's in Brazil which is where Senna is from and Razor all oh, those curves you could really feel for the FFP This car doesn't feel as planted. But still feels quite good. So let's just keep pushing. But this car feels odd. It feels completely different to the FW 15B. No, 15C, I mean. But yeah, this feels good, and the circuit actually is di quite different to the modern one. Even though the layout might be the same, the actual undulation and how it looks around it actually feels quite a lot different. So these cars, as I should have probably known, are quite easy to spin when doing some f incorrect trail braking because these the, the aerodynamics were made to be super sensitive but this car feels quite nice Ah, that's how you do it. Trail break correctly. And I just braked a bit too early. But this car feels quite nice. Is it better than... The car I just drove? The FW15C, sort of? Uh, no, not in my opinion. But I can see the appeal in this car. Okay, let's see. Oop! Oh well, you can have some quite humongous crashes. But let's see how this car handles around the 93 version of the same track. Okay, so this version looks quite similar to the 91 version. But let's see how the actual track feels. So do we see any clear difference? I think the pits, these, those look the same. This corner, the curbs look different. The grandstands and stuff are maybe different too, but I don't really focus on that since I'm driving.
But really, Interlagos feels really nice. Oh god. So you can't take, as I should have known, that amount of speed which I tried. And there you see the spins again. But this world record around here is like half a second or a second slower. I wonder why that is. Could be different drivers. That felt a lot better. You can really break deep with that corner, which I should expect from watching footage of Hamilton and other drivers dive bombing through there. But the mo it's a lot of grass around there. I wonder why they removed it. The only thing which came out of removing it is making it able to just pretend that you got out on the stair and didn't couldn't get the corner and take your opponent off too but this car yeah it feels the same around here but the, and the circuit feels a bit the same but the curbs I think I remember Renato or someone saying that the curbs are a bit different but this lap looks a lot better. Even though my middle sector was absolutely shocking. Oh well. I spun out there. Not good. But that gives me time to be able to tell you about my thoughts on this update is it worth buying the new content i say yes the cars especially feel really nice if you're not so interested in older circuits a bit like me then i would skip those except montreal would be interesting barcelona is barcelona then you have the interlagos versions which i can see the peel off but I would personally, I personally just like to drive up to date stuff. If they're not the Formula Ultimate Gen 1, which is the quickest car ever. So that's what I think. What do you think? Comment down below. And once you're down there, please hit the like button and also subscribe. I just remembered, is the, is the update really good too? Yes. It makes the tires feel a lot better because before it felt like they had, you could just lean on them through a corner without having to think oh i'm going to spin whilst here you have to keep in the range maybe not it's harder to see in these cars but you will especially feel it in other cars that when trying to get the most amount of grip when you're trying to get too much grip from it you will know so that's nice my next video we'll see what it's on because Obviously, Le Mans was teased, but we're not getting that anytime soon. And then when we think, I might do some, maybe some, I might probably do a, a video based in AMS too, because it's obviously very nice. Maybe some truck racing, maybe some GT3s, freeze, maybe taking one of these cars around the different circuit. Who knows? If you have any ideas, comment it down below, as I said again. But until then. I've been Racing Legend, you've been my amazing viewers, thank you for watching, goodbye!